I imagine a Rakan option could be coming in here, but he does have quite a few different ones that he can head towards, and the Rel is what he's going to choose. The Metal Horse Pants are going to be coming in as a couple of purple ladies and a few extras here for Hammer Life Esports to see whether they can get it done with Morgana's debut. Let's jump onto the rift. I think a big reason Kaisa has risen in priority is the fact that she is just that the hybrid damage that makes itemization tricky. Um, hmm. Wait for the ward to go down and then walk over the top of it. Yeah, Pina's just going to clear the Raptors here. Stealing the Raptors from Raptor. Oh no. Feels a bit personal. That's how you do the most mental damage. Yep. You gotta uh, take that namesake away. Wait until Krug starts playing. And now this is where it gets a bit uncomfortable because Corky is so strong early. And if Zekka has a good early lane. I had a mate back in Australia who just played almost solely Ezreal jungle whenever he was jungling. So I was I was well aware that it was a thing and it was possible. Just never thought I'd see it in pro as Thought I'd see this one as Delight is going to dive out of the brush. Dura going to have to try and dredge line his way out. Viper. Uh, now Raptor is the one that's coming around. Finds the Vault Breaker onto Delight. And are moving on up here. And now there's the Dark Binding. Oh, dear. Over the wall goes Zekka. But he is going to get stunned up by the rocks. Still Closer has to flash. The Black Shield a little late. So the stun comes through on Zekka. Closer survives. But pressure's still there. Um, is Raptor going to win the battle? Uh, that's all right. Snare does come through. And oh, man, how is... many of these team fights will be dictated by the Black Shield? Is, uh, yeah, this is really How dumb. many pools can he spawn at a time? It looked like he was I approaching three. Useless ability. Yeah, you like, don't use that at all. It's like, oh, I want some stacks. That's the only reason. Yep. As Zeka is going to have some rocks thrown at him, but Closer is just going to be shackled and destroyed. He used to to talk. Right. Just let him get wow. a camp. Just oh. let him get a... Oh, yeah. Wow, top of the morning to you, Raptor. I'm just going to be honest, I've seen people AFK for less. Yes, absolutely. Crash down here into the bottom lane as Hannah tries to get into the mist, but he's so incredibly low. Duro's really tanky, though. He's a durable, as it were. Um, not able to get the kill, but still, TRX getting pushed Seismic away. Shove, but otherwise, very clean. Speaking of which, um, this is Doran doing some Doran things. Unfortunately, just getting ganked towards his top lane. As Clear was tanking up this turret for quite some time, Zekka comes on over with a big one at the ready. I don't think they're going to be able to answer this, even though the health bars are somewhat low. Yeah, or the old cursor. Uh, That's the biggest what, travesty. Yeah, it is the biggest travesty. As Oh, oh man, Doran manages to find it! One of the big Doran moments coming on in here as the Soul Shackles comes down, and Peanut just wanders past as the Gnar pops like a balloon. Raptor, who is working for DK Fear X. That's, that's almost a debatable line as we are going to check this one out once oh, again. Catches him. Like max range nearly and then oh. drags him, the binding hits, and even gives over the kill. Yeah. yeah. And eventually, if you get like, you know, if you catch up in levels, you get a ton of souls, then yeah, sure. But it takes some time and this fight, oh, Gage comes in. Yeah, what's going to come on through there is Delight. Didn't manage to get the Aftershock active. That means that he goes down extraordinarily quickly. He's going to have to go back. And this Drake should belong to Fear X as the Binding does come on in, but the Smite is going to be there as Raptor was in range for it. See whether anyone is going to come up there and try and contest as, oh dear. The Light might be in trouble. Cease and Desist comes down, and yes, that is the kill onto the Rel, but now Viper's found Henna, and he just assassinates him. And now Duro finds himself on the wrong side of this. How is Viper so incredibly strong already in this game? I don't know how he necessarily does it, and I don't even know whether they're out of the woods oh. just yet. The Void Seeker going to come on oh. through. There's the flash for the Akathian Rain. But do you know what all he also has? His Dark Binding is going to connect here as Raptor goes for the uh, Cease and Desist, and then just gets dragged underneath the turret. That's a Dark Binding for the last hit. Uh, Zach is like, <laughs> I, I, I would have picked Viper too. Good choice. Yeah, yeah. As Peanut's going to get engaged on. There's a Seismic Shove, and this is a way to mitigate the Black Shield. Not able to go golden just yet. And B and K, they get rid of the problem. I believe he did anyway. No, he didn't. Actually didn't press the button. Looked like he turned around and went for it. Oh, Doran's there. Yeah, Doran looking for the angle. Finds the W. Duro had already been taken down. So incredibly low delight. Getting taken low himself, though. He will be going down. So a one for one in the end. Both of the supports lying on the ground. Uh, uh, did this just happen? Wow. I guess that just happened. Like, the, he wasn't the one making the game-winning plays, and he said, okay, give me Kaisa, I'll do it. Yep. Um, 
He needs to get some of these numbers and up. And obviously the takeaway from this is the light engaged, so that's a POG, not for Viper. Um, yeah. It's about how it feels to play, 100%. Yeah. I agree with you. I think Diana was that for me. It just felt great. You Mine know, is, you know when you finish off a turret with plates on it, uh -huh. and the satchel, that you passive get like just, oh just my. feels And so like the, the noise of all the coins. Oh, Viper's uh -huh. fourth. Yeah, that rocket pretty good too, but Viper is going to get a big old shield. Got the black shield there as well, and now the Nar goes in and just pops! Oh god, he just does too much damage! BK thought they found a window, they did not! They found the end of their Nexus, the flash forward! Doran's going all out indeed! It's a double, make it a triple for Zaka. They are done with this game, 26 minutes! And Hummel IV Esports will cruise towards match point in this best of three. Super strong performance and Viper getting all those kills with the Black Shield to back him up. Just doesn't look balanced. You know what? And the you fact that it, like, it was all about Viper setting up for these Barons, maybe that's just it. Is what it'll be, right? This, yeah. This, I like the Alistair. You know what? More. Delight said, I can't play Rakan into Zaya. That's not lore accurate. Yep. I have to play something else, so he locks the Alistair. And we are just ready to do it. Let's jump into the rift for game number two. Someone's playing Corky, and someone picked the Corgi skin. I know, it's pretty good. And I just, that, that, I was sold. There it is. Oh, and it's the pink one too. Oh my god. Just adorable. <laughs> Look at that butt. <laughs> Look at that butt go. Oh. Okay, perfect. well. Um, Closer might, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, and he's not gonna get a Raptor on the other side because Zekka has priority again. And they um, have vision again. They're just doing exactly the same thing again. Yeah. Um, As Doro into this brush once again. Oh no, no, this is the wi no, this is the worst part. Oh god. Oh, this is a good part though. Yes, pretty good. As Delight getting lit on fire. Hannah, level two first. Delight still not quite there and Raptor yep. even over a ward. And Peanut with the long wrap around. Viper avoiding the feathers here as well. Look at this tree. Just wanders into the brush, gets the slowdown onto Hannah. They're able to wait for some cooldowns. There's the flash pole. Headbutt back. On the wing. Delight's gonna wing. guarantee it. I think they might just push it in. And um, we didn't. He just didn't do him like that. Well, he, he, he got the cannon, so... He did nail it. He's winning. Well, Raptor is going to be trading some grubs for this Infernal Drake. Oh, Rocket actually going to be missed here as the answer is the culling. As Quoza is going to be able to get himself out of the way. Uh, it is, like, impressive. And you can see, like, this... I feel like Zekka's wanted to play this Lucian all season. Did he die to a camp? No, 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 no. no. Oh, now. Is Viper going oh, to Delight, die? Or Delight, is Delight. Delight going to die? Immediately flashes, just gets the heck out of there. And that's the reactions, you know. Yeah. Uh, not. Oh, and gets the rotation over. Now yeah, I he thought they maybe flash. That was a then. Bit strange. Zeka is eating honey fruit, now moving down towards this bottom side, and I don't think they're going to be diving anytime soon. Well, they tickled the Grump a bit. Yeah. B and K, not wanting to give this one up as. Six grubs on the table for Hanwha. They do want to stick around here to try and take them. Five now. The only opportunity that they have. The Flash Nar under three. The Culling comes through. It's the Wombo combo. Killer Instinct in the back line as well from Viper. They do take down the Nar, but I'd say he's done his job. As now clear, finding what he can. But I think that it's going to be chased down. The Flash forward from Zaka. The Flash forward from Viper. And there they go. Double kill for the Kaiser. Except you know for Peanut. Up? Except yeah. for Peanut. Okay, Peanut's based. Peanut, yes, you know what's messed up? Is what when is? Rumble was being played in the jungle and they didn't use it? Yeah, that's I I can't abide. I know, I was very upset as now we've got a Nature's Wrath coming on through as clear. Uh oh. Alright, Peanut does get the phase rush, but he's still gonna get pulled back and he is very dead. Tree's natural enemy is fire. Uh, unless it's the Mountain Ash in which they use that to germinate new seeds, um, but they still have to die, and so that's what Peanut does um, that they have just opted into on either side. The yeah, dash yeah, in is an interesting King. Oh, one. As where more people coming. Oh, he's losing health. Yeah, and there's the Nature's Grasp. He mitigates the CC. He does hold on to Zekka for a moment, but I don't know whether he's going to be able to do enough here. Zekka goes down relatively low, but that is just too required to take down the Cassante. In the meantime, B and K, I mean, it took a while to kill clear there, so they have been able to move themselves towards this bottom lane. He Very has dead. not so much health. There's now Killer Instinct onto Raptor in this mid lane. The flash after him. Raptor will die there, but can Hannah get one back? He can. Eight for a goal. The big one goes through 
Zekka as he's making his way back oh. home. Viper trying to go for that assassination again and it actually does... Oh. Whoa! There's the flash forward. They do manage to get the solar flare out and the feather storm as Zekka comes on over. Ah, I hear you need an AD carry. I've got another one even though the uh, the original is in the death chamber. Yeah, so we'll get a replay. Uh, Viper trying to find that angle onto Raptor and it, it seems like decent because he's trapped in the minion waves. But this, he actually flashes forward, takes the stun, does cleanse it, does get the kill, but Henna there to clean up and that... Oh man, milliseconds away. I'm glad that we got the replay because actually a pivotal moment there as well. Delight also holding the pulverize until after the feather storm is really nice. Um, the knock up cleanse was an odd one. Well, uh, so uh, maybe, now maybe do tank the Baron and let the Baron tank the Void Seekers. Oh, it's about Raptor getting into this pit and he's not going to. Viper going to instantly cleanse the Solar Flare. The big one comes down. There's the flash and he catches. The other flash as well as Duro's in so much trouble, he's just going to explode. Decent Snare does come on through, is now clear, doing his very best to tank this one up. The health bars are getting low, we're fighting into a brand. Be careful, Hanwha Life Esports, as Doran, he's going to flash. Viper is taking matters into his own hands, maybe a bit too far, as he even manages to find the counter kill. But now Closer has an opportunity. Still one for one. And Hannah keeps tanking these Void Seekers, half their uh, cooldown left on the Featherstorm, so he has to stay pretty far back. There's the Pulverize onto Duro. He goes way further forward than he wanted to. Viper's gonna lock that one down. There goes the Brand. And he's just trying to keep his distance and he's doing so beautifully. Supercharger to chase down. There's the triple. Make it a Quadra. Give him the Penta kill. You know you need to. As Henna oh, he is looking to it. try and run it. this one off. He doesn't have the killer instinct. If he did, obviously, they would be going for it. And Viper still has an inner turret to kill, so it's only a quadra. 11, 2, and 0. Um, Life Esports really looking like a cut above BNK in this series, though. That's uh, the main bit of information that I think that we're getting. As oh. now we're going for the pincer maneuver. Peanut getting himself out of the way to light into the break. Killer Instinct right into the back line. And Viper, he of course had the arm guard available. Another Void Seeker going to connect onto Henry. Slow down Featherstorm going to have to be used. And he lands yet another one. They're underneath this inhibitor turret with no minions to speak of. Because I think they just want to head towards Nexus turrets and go home for a little bit of an early night. As there goes Closer, he's gonna try and Valkyrie away. The use of these health bars is gorgeous. Humble Life Esports will be able to clear up these turrets, take down the Nexus and close out the week with a clean 2-0. 27k on the damage numbers there, but a very respectable 25 for Zekka as well. This two threat composition working out beautifully for Humble Life Esports. Thank you very much, guys. This is Deer for the POG interview translation, joined by Viper on the side of Hanwha Life Esports, who just secured their third consecutive win by defeating BNK Furex. Congratulations! Thank you! So with today's victory, Hanwha has ri risen to the sole position of second place. How do you feel? Yeah, we won it with a 2-0 victory, which is which is a great thing. And this is your first summer interview, Viper. And we heard you saying, just what does an AD carry have to do to get POG? And you finally made it. You must have been so disappointed all along. Yeah, no, I wasn't really too concerned about it, but in the last match when I didn't get my POG, I think I was a little disappointed. So how oh. sweet is this first and solo POG today? <laughs> you know, maybe a little regretful, but I think I did a good job picking the right champion. So are you going to show us more Kai'Sa play plays from now on? I'm not too sure how good the champion is, actually. But I think today, I think we just ended up playing so well. I think it just turned out really good today. So in both games 1 and 2, the enemy target banned AD carry champions, and your choice was Kai'Sa. So what was the bot drafting process like? 
Yeah, it was a lot of、uh, ADC bands in the beginning, and I was contemplating on which pick that I should go with, and I just went with what I am confident with. Yeah, surely. We were able to see your peak Kaisa play that we've been seeing since the Griffin days. So, what do you think Kaisa、uh, is? What do you think of Kaisa is in the current meta? I think as long as she's able to evolve, he she gets a, a little big of a spike. But I don't know. It's getting to that point, and that's actually pretty difficult. So in game one, at the Herald timing, we got a Kaisa highlight. So let's take a look at this replay. So I remember you got a triple kill. How did you find this angle? So I noticed that Senna was isolated from her team, so I just went ahead and started the fight. I think it was a really good opening to opening up a team fight, and we were able to close that up. And so we saw Peanuts Morgana and Maokai, as well as Zeka's Mid Lucian, which was the first in the LCK. So against the BNK Fear or Fear X. What process was there to prep for the drafting? What did you guys talk about? We're considering jungle bans, and it felt like the enemy actually left open a lot of options for us. So we were trying to puzzle the pieces together to create the best comp that we can. And I think both games one and two had a little bit of a different vibe in the end. So yeah, your all the AD carry target bans were almost meaningless with how insane your KDA and damage was, and you got such a high praise from all the casters all, all across with your destructive gameplay. So, what are your thoughts on your current form? To be honest, today went really well for me. I don't think I played any different, particularly, but I feel like I can do even better. So, just like I mentioned, all the casters were just shouting your name. So, do you want to say anything to, especially Captain Jack, who has been screaming your name? Well, thank you so much. You, you know. Even before when you were a player, I've always been watching you, and I do watch your streams as well. So I'm so grateful. Thank you. And Hana like esports, who is a strong contender for the title. You guys will be heading into、uh, the round two next week. So which team are you most cautious of? I believe I would say T1 is someone that I'm most cautious of. That I'm, we're actually facing them pretty soon. And I know that Genji is a very strong team, so I believe that Genji is someone that we should be very wary of as well. And as your last match of round one, you will face Kwangdong Freaks. What is your resolution? I believe we will be able to win without dropping a game, and I really want to give you guys and show you guys what a gap is. And that's the end of the interview from Viper. And back to the space. Thank you.